my car was supposed to race for precision, but I couldn't get it to go that far. Um, first, I found the energy in the spring uh, with the graph using the torque wheel. I calculated the force on the spring and then put it on the graph and found the elastic energy which ended up being 0.6 joules. Next I used a tracker after I made a video of my car and with tracker I was able to do the position time graph and the velocity time graph which helped me find the acceleration. My car really didn't go that far. It only went one meter. And my position time graph, pretty easy to understand. It just sped up and slowed down according to the velocity time graph. The velocity time graph also showed me what the maximum velocity was. And that ended up being 0 0.139 meters per second. And I also found the kinetic energy of the mousetrap car, which was the same as the elastic energy, which is 0.6 joules. Then I found the mass of the mousetrap car. It was about 1.5 pounds, which is approximately 0 0.68 kilograms. And that helped me calculate the total force on the car as it was speeding up and slowing down. When I look at the velocity time graph, I can see that I have a bunch of different accelerations and decelerations according to the tracker video. But I found the overall acceleration by using the V, the V final formula, which is V final equals V naught plus AT. My V final was 0 0.12 my meters per second. My V naught was 0 0.13. 36 meters per second, and my time was 0 0.333 seconds. And using this equation, I was able to find out that my acceleration was negative 0 0.0399 meters per second squared. And with this information, I was able to plug the mass and the acceleration into the force equation to find the total force on the spring car, the mousetrap car. This formula was F equals MA, and since the mass of my car was 0 0.68 kilograms, I multiplied that with my, by my acceleration, which was negative 0 0.0399 meters per second squared, altogether getting uh, a force of negative 0 0.027 newtons. I was unable to use vPython because it wasn't installed on the computer in the class, but I was going to try it. It's just it didn't work. So I never really got to experiment with it. After I finished calculating everything, uh, Jacob helped me create the energy flow diagram and solve for the energy dissipated. Uh, in the energy flow diagrams, since we know that E elastic and E kinetic are at its max and they're the same thing, they therefore both equal 0 0.6 joules on the energy flow diagram. However, they do have different formulas. And in the first column, we have the car before it starts moving. So it's stationary and the spring is loaded, but it hasn't been released yet. So therefore, the elastic energy is 0 0.6 joules and there's no energy dissipated. But when the car is let go, E kinetic is at its max, and it's 0 0.6 joules again, but the formula is 1 half mv squared, and there is energy dissipated. By the time the car stops, there's no more energy to be dissipated, and so it just stops. So, for my force diagrams, uh, I have my car accelerating, and I use someone else's data for the decelerating portion, because my car just kind of stopped there after a meter, about a meter. So for the accelerating part, we have a normal force upward and the force of the gravity going downward. Plus we have a little bit of friction going to the left and more force going to the right. 
And if we look at the, the force diagram and line them all up uh, from head to tail, we get that uh, the force equals ma on the little part of the vector that is sticking out from the other uh, vectors. Now for the decelerating part, it's pretty much the opposite of the accelerating part. Uh, in the fact, I mean, we still have normal force going up and the weight of the Earth going down, but the friction is going to the right this time instead of the left, and uh, the f more force is going to the right, into the left, because it's decelerating rather than accelerating. And the little vector that we have left, as seen in the picture, is the sum of the forces for the decelerating one. And we do have to note that my car does move to the right and it doesn't go left. So I've tried to put everything on the rubric in this uh, screencast. Please forgive me if I forgot everything, except for vPython, I couldn't get that to work. Uh, I hope you like my screencast.